guys, welcome back. I'm Julian. I'm here to do my reaction video for episode 14 of season 1 of One Tree Hill. Uh, I don't know the title of the episode, but I am excited. I'm kind of worried about this episode because it ended with a huge, huge problem, you know? Uh, I am pretty sure they are just showing us the fact that um, Lucas, like, flatline, like, died. Uh, just to create drama, I don't think they're gonna kill him. Um, but that gave us uh, a look into um, Dan. You know, Dan for the first time said in this, you know, situation, he said he's my son. It's the first time, like, like without any bad thoughts and any like n nothing bad. Uh, he said, yeah, that is my my son. I can. Um, uh, he's the it's not the legal guardian or anything but he is his son you know and uh, I am afraid also I've been thinking about it did uh, what is his name Keith was he drunk did he miss the light was this an accident I it didn't make myself like it wasn't that clear in the previous episode but then I was thinking about it and like he looked like he had a red line to go to I don't know so uh, he was a little bit distracted as well. So let's see how they're going to solve this. What's going to happen? What's going to happen with Karen? Is Karen and Deb going to get together finally? <laughs> I know it's never going to happen, but I'm going to still ship it. Because that's who I am, you know? So, yeah, I'm excited. I hope you guys are excited as well. I also didn't like Lucas in the previous episode. So we'll see how we go with this episode. Uh, that's it. I hope you guys enjoy. Please give it a lot of thumbs up if you love One Tree Hill. Subscribe for more. Comment in the comment section down below all your thoughts about this episode. Also, hit the notification bell so you get a notification every time I upload a new reaction. And go to Patreon, please, to watch the full, full uncut reaction video for this episode and so much more there. So please, if you can, go and support the channel so I can continue doing more reaction videos for One Tree Hill. You know, and I can continue when, when I'm done with season one, continue with season two, and so on until the 900th season. Because this show has, like, I don't know how many seasons it has. Like, anyways, I hope you guys enjoy. And without further ado, let's just begin with season one, episode 14 of One Tree Hill. Kissing her, which is a really jackass movie. Yeah, you have a jackass movie. Brooke. I know that. I don't like the person you're becoming. If you're looking for betrayal, look to yourself. Next time you betrayal. see me, betrayal. Oh you. my god. Fine! Fine! Look at who's an asshole right there. Kind of ironic. Charge cattle to 300. Clear. Charge to 100,000. Come on, Lucas! Okay, there we go. Almost signed. I feel like he's gonna feel guilty about all this. Just to hook up. Few. Oh, sweetheart, so sweetheart. between us has been a lie. No, 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 no. That's not. I cannot believe this. Lucas was right about you all along. No, 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 no. Okay. Oh my God! Don't break up. Pick up. There's been an accident. Go to the hospital. I can't talk to you right now. Oh, Haley, Haley don't, don't do sorry. that. I didn't mean it like that. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Just go. That's her. His brother too, Haley. I know. Don't, don't break them up, okay? Couldn't hey, care less about Lucas right now. Don't tell me anything. What is it? Nice, just. Tell Brooke! Peyton, what? Tell, tell the girlfriend! Oh, oh, oh my god. god. Yeah, oh, you're not gonna be happy. I'm so sorry, I didn't see the Where's the operating room? I need someone to tell me what's happening. Oh, they, Karen. They asked us to. Who's him? No, you're not. Oh my god, Karen, don't make me cry. Where's uh, Deb? Excuse me, doctor. So they can, she can hug you. Why? Yeah. Dan was around, okay? Dan's you cannot, the accident. You cannot yeah. be mad at him. He pulled Lucas out of the car, and then he he drove us here. Dan? Yeah, yeah. oh, come on. He, he's not that Lucas bad. He's in bad shape, so... Keith, is he okay? Oh, Brooke! We don't know yet. Stun had to be repaired. Why did I they to send Brooke clean, away? But there shouldn't be any... We lost him for a few seconds. But oh, my said, God. And all of his Oh, my God. Good, so I will die if some, someone says that to when, me. When will that be? I'd really like to see you. Peyton, Get I'll out. go when I'm ready. Woo! Shit. Haley's very good at letting other people open up to her, but okay, she doesn't let anyone in either. A nurse. A little bit, you know? Uh, these insurance forms? All level was just shy of the legal limit. <gasps> 
No, no, Shit, I told you. Big trouble right now. I told you. You've been drinking all day. Yes. But... I trusted you. Shit. I want you to leave. He should have let Lucas drive if he was drinking. Shit. The drama. I knew that this was going to happen. <laughs> when Dan is a good guy. Oh my god. Hell must be freezing right now. What if I can't take it back? What if he doesn't forgive me? He will, but... You know what? He, he was saying a lot of shitty things as well. So it's about both of you forgiving what, um, each other. Whenever you decide that you're ready, I'll go to the hospital with you. Nathan told me about Lucas. The girlfriends. The girlfriends reunite. Please hug. I need my hug. I need them to be together. Karen, she's about to get divorced with the, with the bitch. So you can come in you know she doesn't drink when she drives kids she's perfect i'm so just sorry. saying you hadn't had a chance to grab the food i told you look um, the worry I'm girlfriend you have to eat um, baby look how hard she brought oh my I, god we we stand you to worry Damn. about anything other thanks deb i appreciate that. she's falling in love look at her <laughs> hey stranger oh brooke being the good Check girlfriend i hate this Drop so much cash at the gift shop, I think they're gonna name it after me. <laughs> and the place we dipped into a sugar coma, so. Oh. <laughs> Brooke. I'm sorry, I'm such an idiot. No, I think it's, it's okay. okay, Brooke. <laughs> I'm Brooke making inappropriate comments. How you doing? She's such a good girlfriend, I don't care what anyone says. Um, Brooke is such listen, a good go. girlfriend, she doesn't deserve this, this crap. Okay. I cannot feel bad for her right now. I'm sorry, I cannot feel bad for Peyton. Not after what she did. Here you go. Enjoy Both of them. Life. Like, I'm not happy with Lucas either. Like, you care? Haley. Oh, come, come on, on. Haley. Fair. If she wasn't, I wouldn't go with you. <gasps> She's upset. I hate this. You're fighting. I hate this. Hey, just go talk to him. You'll feel better. I don't deserve to feel better. I mean, don't don't beat yourself up. Anything if he's not awake. That's all gone. Yeah, life can be a bitch sometimes. Debbie's so understanding. I love astrology. Ah, uh, yeah, about that. Is there anything that didn't change while I was gone? <laughs> I'm a dog. Hey, don't think about this. They're vlogging. Points when you bring your little Look at them vlogging. This court, man. Ain't gonna happen. We need you back, man. Simple as that. He's a simple guy. I love him. What are you doing here? Mm. We're supposed to meet okay. at the mediator's office. For this episode, no, no. I'm not going to call him a bitch. But I wanted to Just because he saved I'm Lucas. not going. And I'm asking you to remember when you were the one who needed forgiveness. <gasps> Ooh, when you what were was the that? Who almost lost this family. Exactly. Oh my god. He's very. He's manipulating that. her. And I'm. I'm all out of chances, Dan. I love that she stands her ground. Even I when mean, this bitch. You, want, you know, threatens her. My life. It doesn't matter. It does matter, Haley. Come on! Do not break up. It, uh, to need Lucas in your life. That's not that's not reason enough. We are I not excusing her behavior. No, 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 no. Not since my mom I'm, died. I'm not excusing her her behavior. I understand that they're they're very young and they're prone to make mistakes. I get it. It's not like the end of the day, like she is like the worst person in the planet. No. But I'm not gonna excuse her behavior. She has as much fault for this as Lucas does because they are cheating uh on Brooke. Brooke, her best friend, Brooke, uh 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 Lucas's girlfriend. So no, I'm not excusing her. Me and you I'm sorry. Sees me. Yeah. He is. You know what? You should tell her. I don't I'll know when to she's gonna her. do it. Best. Doesn't this make you feel yeah. like crap? I bet it does. Come on, Peyton has a heart as well. It is killing her. I, I think she should tell her. Oh, you know, shit. do a comedy? Yeah, true. <laughs> tell you not on my son. No. <laughs> Karen. Oh, sweetheart, it's okay. She's so thoughtful. Why am I not surprised Nathan isn't here? Oh, come on. I hate this. Stop! I don't want them to break up, okay? This is 
it's not okay. You gotta love watching people. She's the best thing that's ever happened to you. True, Peyton. True, 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 true. Yeah. Yeah. Man. Actually, yeah. So what happened? He said a really stupid thing. I told her that I only went after her first to screw with Lucas. <laughs> You're a real jackass. You yeah, know yeah, yeah. Sometimes. Yeah, I was. Like for a long time. Yeah, I know. Go find your girl. Nathan Haley, we were fans. Not really my place, is it? Yes, you're your I mean, boyfriend. Lucas isn't exactly my biggest fan. Doesn't mean you couldn't try. For Haley. True. Thank you, Peyton. I suppose this advice. Check. Your husband. <laughs> Keith Scott. Keith Scott? <laughs> He's trying to make a man. Watch him roll his eyes at me. Oh. Nice French fries off his plate. Brooke, don't make me cry. What I'm trying to say is I'm crazy about your son. Oh. And I hope it's enough for you. Oh, sweetheart. Actually, that's more than enough. Figured if I kept bringing food, you'd be bound to eat sometime. Oh my god, I'm starving. Oh, that wasn't for you. But that's probably not for me. <laughs> I can't pull up that stupid question thing. Okay, I think I'm just gonna go. No, no, no. What? Dave is like trying to figure her out. We could have dinner together. Yeah, it's like lumpens. Next. It was only six weeks. <laughs> well, she has happened. Yes, I know. Come out about her if she does go to trial. Oh my god. See you in court. There's one thing, you know, I think he's doing all of this wrong because he is pushing her and forcing her to stay with him instead of showing her that he can change you know some aspects of his life that he can be a better husband that he really is trying all he does is like you can leave me no you can leave me i don't want to like come on don't be in the defensive you if you're in a relationship and your partner doesn't want to be in that relationship anymore you have to be able to let them go and if you can well do something romantic if they don't accept it then no means no and get out you know but what he's doing is just too much too much right now oh nathan i wish My i had that boy. chance don't this say that believe, maybe you're the lucky one yeah you can get out oh that is so sweet That is so sweet. Hi, son. Oh, I can see Oh. You heard that. I'm so sweet. I don't want to cry. I had your back, Mom. You too. Now I can kill you for that tattoo. <laughs> Haley, please. Haley. please. Haley. You understand, please. <laughs> Wanted him to know that you were thinking about it. Oh, she's so sweet. I love you so much, my child. Look, I know it was you. I love this boy so much. Take you to I love this boy so much. Look at him. Haley, please. Haley! You had to be the consent form. She needed surgery. You have a it's right okay. to be It's okay. Oh! Jenny's, what the fuck? Oh. I don't ship them though. He's a bitch 99% of the time. Oh! I love this. Thank you, Nathan. You're your Nathan is so amazing. It's okay. That not everything is gonna be the way you think it Okay guys, that was the end of season one, episode 14 of One Tree Hill. Of course, this entire episode is about Lucas' recovery and all of that, but I have some things uh, about this that um, I don't really like. Here's the thing, not because Lucas got into a car accident and almost died and was unconscious and all of that, that's not, that's not uh, a free, pa we are, I'm not gonna give him a free pass for what he's doing to Brooke at the moment uh, because it's not fair, you know? And it's not fair to put all the blame on um, Peyton as well. But now, 
overall, you know, this is a uh, the betrayal I feel that that uh, Brooke is going to feel once she she finds out. It's going to be big, and it's only going to turn worse if one they keep doing it, or two, uh, it's a long time from the from when it happened to when they tell her. Um, I don't, you know, I don't like that. I don't like that because. You hear me out. People say this about, you know, oh, but Brooke knew. That doesn't, here in this situation, it doesn't matter. You know, why does it matter? Because she asked Lucas and she asked Peyton if it was okay. Well, maybe not Lucas, but she asked Peyton multiple times and Peyton would say no. Brooke is not supposed to be a mind reader. Like when you say no or when you say yes, it has to mean what you're saying, you know? Uh, and I understand that Peyton is very, you know, complicated and all of that. And I'm glad that, you know, um, Lucas seemed to understand her. But not everyone has to understand that when she says no, she actually means yes. It's not fair for anyone. It's not fair for Brooke that this is something that I feel like they are pushing on to us and to say, oh, but she had a, like, her mom died. Or like this, that, it's not okay. Either way, it's not okay. She should have been, first, she should have been able to be uh, honest with her friend and say, you know what? Yes, I do have a problem with you dating Lucas because I actually do like him. Or because I just, I don't like it and I don't know what I feel. I haven't figured it out yet. And I think that she, if she was clear with that, I don't think Brooke will have continue her pursue into Lucas, you know? And now she seems to be falling in love with him. And it's bad. It's bad that this is happening. And it's bad that Peyton is still allowing that, knowing that Lucas doesn't feel the same way for, for Brooke, and knowing that she, like, that, that Lucas has cheated on her, with her, you know? So it's, it's wrong. It's wrong. I don't like it. I am right now team Brooke all the way because I don't think she deserves this and like I said I feel like there's a, a big connection between Lucas and Lucas and Peyton I feel like they could be great together you know they understand each other they support each other they love each other I think they could be perfect and I don't think that this moment and this thing that they have done is is like oh my god I'm gonna hold it on to them for the rest of the series I don't think so you know but I do need both of them to be honest with Peyton with with Peyton with with uh Brooke Peyton and Lucas to be honest with Brooke I think you know despite all the things that could happen and all the things you know I think that if they both care about Brooke she doesn't deserve this. I do believe that Brooke doesn't deserve this. Now, it's not the end of the world. It's not something like I'm going to say, oh, no, I hate Peyton or I hate Lucas. No, they're kids. They're making mistakes. They are, you know, uh, not, you know, if, you know, it's, it's okay. It's not the end of the world, like I'm saying. And, like, it's not, that doesn't define them as people, you know, um, they're just stupid kids right now, but they need to tell Brooke. Um, and then you have, you know, Haley and 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 Peyton. And Haley, you know, I notice more and more that everyone can rely on Haley, but it's not so much like Haley lets herself uh, be helped. She's not the one to receive the help so well, and uh, that is bad as well, you know, because. People are there for her, for her too, you know? So, but it, it, she needs to grow a little bit in that aspect. Uh, yes, I did. You know why I don't, I, I didn't mind the comment Nate, Nathan said about, yeah, well, this all started because of, I wanted to piss Lucas off. I think that, you know, I already knew that, so it didn't surprise me. It did surprise me that he said it. It's not something you say, you know? But... I, I, I am glad that, you know, Luke, Lucas, Nathan is able to, something that not a lot of people does, and not even on this show, uh, even the adults, it's take himself out of the equation and look from the outside what he's doing wrong. 
He's able to do that with help, you know, talking it out with Peyton and all of that. He's able to do that. He's able to go past his ego, go past, you know, his uh, ideas on how things should work and how, how he's supposed to act. And he's able to go beyond that and look himself uh, at himself and, and, and come up uh, better, you know. I think that I love, I love the deep, uh, how much you can see on the character you know you see nathan on the surface he's the uh star of the basketball team following this the footstep of his dad and blah 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 and all of these things you know um and then you see him that he's very soft that he's very caring that he's understand understand the bowl is that how you say it? he cares about people he has a lot of empathy and you know he just doesn't try to let his problems or at least he's not trying anymore to let his problems uh, um, hurt the people that he loves and I love that about him I think it's just wonderful the things that he does and um, it, it truly is amazing it truly is amazing and I really uh, like that about about him. It's just I, I feel so proud of how much progress we have seen with Nathan in 14 episodes. It's com the complete opposite uh, to what he was in the first few episodes. And I love that. I love how how many layers the character have and all of that. Then you have Keith, who I feel bad for because, you know, he really wanted this. But if he's a responsible adult, shouldn't have drink. You shouldn't have driving him, even if he just had a, a, a glass of wine or whatever. You know, you're not supposed to do that. Uh, it could have turned out a lot worse, you know, and what would you do? What would you do if, if you kill someone so important to you? Because Lucas is important to Keith, regardless of his relationship with Karen. So, yeah. Uh, and then you have, of course, Deb and Karen, who I ship with all my heart. Um... They, you know, being good friends. I love the friendship between them. So crazy that these two will get to, like, get to have a friendship. But I just, I love uh, Deb, how mature, how conscious, and how, you know, good she is, and how she understands uh, caring. Um, jokes aside, I love that friendship. I, I, I hope that... I hope that we get to see it nurture a lot more, you know, uh... Because I think it's important for 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 Karen to have someone that is not necessarily a love interest, who is not your uh, son's best friend, you know, Haley, and that she has someone her own age who's willing to help her and to be with her and to love her and all of that. So I really really like that. Um, and yeah, I adore that relationship. Um, and then you have Dan, you know, that he is like, he goes one step forward and 10 step backs every single time he opens his mouth. And like, it's just insane, you know, because he is like, okay, he did save Lucas's life and he was very helpful at that moment. And Karen was able to see that and to thank him for it. And then you have, um, well, Keith, you have Dan, you know, yeah, he was able to do that. And then, same Dan, it's, you know, threatening Deb about something that happened in the past with her. It's toxic. If you have gone to that point, it's not love. It's just his inability to lose, you know, to seem like a loser because now he's going to get a divorce. It's, I don't feel that his love is just a manipulating uh, uh, opportunity for him to just you know, try to do that with her, and it, it sucks, it really, really sucks, and uh, I think that he should try to do, if he really loves her, try to do things in different ways, accepting the therapy, you know, when he was just, ah, who are you, and like, all of, of those things could have shown uh, Deb that he actually means 
where he says that he wants to change, that he needs to let go of the past to be a better person, to have a good family. But no, he seems like he just wants the wife in the house just so he can say that he's a successful businessman and he has a successful family and all of that. And it's really sad that he's doing that. And I feel bad for Deb. I don't feel bad for Dan because he's just using this opportunity to manipulate um, Deb. And that is not okay. That is not okay. If you don't feel happy in a relationship, you should be able to say, no, I'm done and get out. And if that person continues, it's not love. Not like that. Not like that. It's not love. It could be... It, it will be a completely different thing. He actually tried on the therapy. If he was a little bit, you know, romantic and tried to make her remember how they felt before and how they could still feel like that. But he's not doing that. He's threatening her to expose her. So if you leave me, I'm going to expose you for whatever thing that she did. It's wrong. It's wrong. So, yeah. Anyways, I love, love, love this episode. I should... Uh, try to, you know, post every, what day are we today? Thursday. Every Thursday I'm going to try to uh, upload a new reaction video for Patreon. And I hope that I do the same thing for YouTube. So you guys will know every time, every day of, of the week when it's that I'm going to post a new reaction. I think it could be for, uh, Thursday. So try to expect uh, the next reaction on a Thursday as well. Uh, but yeah, yeah, it's really good, and and I really like this episode. But anyways, hope you guys have enjoyed. Please give it a thumbs up if you love One Tree Hill. Subscribe for more. Comment. Hit the notification bell. All those good things. And also, let me know all your thoughts about this episode. What do you think about Deb and Dan? What do you think about Lucas, Brooke, and Peyton situation? Uh, all of that. Just let me know. And also, Nathan and Haley, because... Swear to God, they cannot break up, okay? If this show has, like, 50 seasons, I am expecting for the 50 seasons for them to be together. I'm not accepting them apart, okay? No, no, no. I, I'm not going to say... I will die if I see Nathan with someone else or, or Haley with someone else. I will kill. Like, seriously, I will kill. I will die. Something like that happens, okay? So, no. That's it. Hope you guys enjoy. Uh, go to Patreon to watch the full on car reaction video with an hour of reaction and review. Go there if you want to support the channel. And that will be it. Thank you so much, guys, for supporting. I will see you guys next time for more reaction videos for One Tree Hill. Mwah. Bye, guys. Bye.